New at 10.30, we're looking closer at Seattle's plans to pump the brakes on racing. City Council just greenlit a new piece of legislation that allows them to place automated cameras in high problem areas. Now, the push for oversight comes just days after a violent weekend in Capitol Hill after a street racing and meetup incident led to a shooting. Fox 13's Alejandro Guzman joining us live from West Seattle, where racing has been an ongoing problem there. So, Ali, how soon could we see these cameras go off? Oh, Hannah, David, I can tell you that's still a time's away. Today was just the very first step in getting this ordinance approved, and it's the very first of its kind for the city of Seattle. But for residents who live up and down Alki Beach, they say it's a sign of relief as racing up and down their front doors has been a huge concern, especially after following a very traumatic car crash that happened just a week ago. In the middle, it's Alki Speedway, and God be with you if you want to be on the street or do anything. The concerns are real and often caught on camera. This video is from July 16th, a close call for a dozen pedestrians, beachgoers, and cyclists along Alki Beach. I had walked there 15 minutes beforehand. They could have taken 12 people into the center. A woman was critically injured after the force of the crash sent her vehicle into the waters of Puget Sound. <sighs> This video taken over the weekend shows a meetup in Capitol Hill near the annual block party. Burnouts, big crowds, and police officers forced out. And SPD had showed up, but I guess the people that were in the, the group started throwing our barricades at them and um, causing damage to police vehicles, so they withdrew. Tense moments followed by several gunshots, leaving four people hurt. Situations residents across the city have been pleading to put an end to. We need safe streets. People do not feel safe. We need to get cameras installed as soon as possible to make this unsafe, unlawful action stopped. Council members Lisa Herbold and Alex Peterson sponsored an ordinance to reduce drag racing in accordance with state law. It allows the city of Seattle to place automated cameras, which would ticket speeders in designated racing zones. This technology is another tool in our tool belt to reduce collisions and save lives on some of our city's most dangerous roadways. But not everyone is in favor. In reality, these cameras would issue speeding tickets extremely broadly, regardless of whether someone is specifically racing or simply going six miles per hour over the speed limit. Um, I do want to clarify that SDOT has let us know that they could, in theory, set a policy that would trigger violations at higher speeds when issued in race zones. The years-long wait coming to an end. Councilmember Peterson? Yes. Councilmember Salant? No. Councilmember Strauss? Yes. Eight in favor, one opposed. Thank you. The bill passes. The legislation designates 10 racing zones throughout the city, including Elkai Avenue, Harbor Ave, West Marginal, roadways inside Magnuson Park, 3rd Avenue, Martin Luther King, and Rainier Avenue South. Will a designated restricted racing zone and automated ticketing system work? I'm not naive enough to think that it's the end all, but I do believe it will be a significant deterrent if speeders are ticketed. Again, cameras will not be set up anytime soon. SDOT now has to comply with the state law and complete an equity analysis. But for now, residents here, they're expecting that this is the beginning of the end to what could be those revving engines and screeching tires. For now, live in West Seattle, Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News.